Hi guys! In this video, I will show you how I make my Jamaican ackee and saltfish and we'll be doing it along with some boiled green bananas. So traditionally, what we would do is put our saltfish to soak in water overnight to get out some of the salt and then we would boil it to get the rest out. However, you don't have to soak your saltfish. I didn't soak this last night. So what I'm going to do is double boil it. So this is my first boil. And I boil it for about 10 minutes or so because that's um, in order to get out some of the salt because it's salted fish. Cod fish that has been preserved in salt so we want to get out the excess salt and then i'll go on to my bananas and i will start peeling my bananas to go into the pot as soon as the pot starts boiling here i'll show you how i peel the skin from the bananas I'll just put some oil in my hands and this is to prevent the stain from the bananas from sticking to my fingers and then I've already cut the bananas off the stem so I'll cut the other end just like so and then I'll core the banana so I'll just cut along one of these ridges and that is what we call coring the bananas. So usually we do all the coring and then we go back and peel. Okay, so now I will start just peeling the bananas just like so. Now the peels I'll dump in the garbage, but I'll just save one of the peel to put in the pot because in so doing it helps to keep the color of the bananas. So this one will go in the pot with the bananas. is boiling it's ready for the bananas so I'll go ahead and put the bananas in and then I'll put some salt in I have decided to sneak in some sweet potatoes in the pot and I chose to cut them lengthwise not across so they're in similar shape as the bananas And the pot is boiling so I'll just go ahead and put in a little of the pink salt in the pot and leave it to cook until the food is soft a saltfish is boiling I am getting ready now to pour off the first boiling water and then I will pour new water on to boil for the second time. Now, if you notice, I didn't cover the pot. And I didn't do that because if you cover the pot with the saltfish, it is likely to foam over on top of your stove. So I'll take this to the sink and I'll pour off the water that's on it. So now I'll pour fresh water on and leave it to boil and after it starts boiling i let it boil for maybe another 10 minutes or so I should also let you guys know that you could tip a little oil 
in your pot to help the color of your or to help to retain the color of your bananas so the bananas and potatoes are boiling and I'm trying to get the excess salt out of the salt fish I will go ahead and I will prepare the seasoning that will go with the ackee and salt fish and I'm using garlic onions and tomato so I'll go ahead and mince up the garlic now you can put as much or as little as you want in I think I'm gonna get some thyme sprigs also to go in the ackee and salt fish I think I have some up here from my garden yeah I'm adding some scotch bonnet pepper I freeze my scotch bonnet peppers because we live in the countryside so whenever I go in the city I buy them and so I freeze them so as to extend the life of my of the peppers yeah so Usually we don't have sweet peppers in traditional, authentic Jamaican ackee and fish. The only peppers we have are scotch bonnet peppers or any other type of hot pepper. We usually use what was readily available and yeah, peppers were available, onions were available, tomatoes were available and thyme. We did not put sweet pepper in. So that's not authentic to put sweet pepper in your Jamaican ackee and salt fish. Okay, so now this is ready. I put that to sit. Just about time to remove the salt fish from the pot. So I'm getting my ackee ready to go into that water as soon as I remove the salt fish. And so. I'll just go ahead and strain the brine off the aki. So now I'm removing the salt fish from the water. And then I'll put my aki in and leave the aki to boil until it's soft and ready. Then I'll strain the water off. Now I've just got some cold water on the salt fish so it can cool down before I start picking it apart to get all the bones out or as much bones as possible. So checking on my food pot here, I see that there's stuff on the top that I can skim. So I'm going to go ahead and skim this off. Mm. Now the salt fish is cool. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick it apart to get out all these bones. So usually what I do is take a bit of the salt fish and taste it to see if I've gotten enough salt out of it. If your salt fish is not quite ready and you don't have enough salt out, just pour some boiling water over it and put it to sit for a few more minutes. Then you can taste it again and then if you're good to go, then we go to, to the next stage. The ackee and the sawfish are ready now. So I'm just going to go ahead and assemble them. So in the pot I have some oil 
I make sure that the oil is hot enough then I'll go ahead and put in my onions and pepper and let them start sweating down a bit Now I'll add the salt fish. I'll just let the salt fish and the veggies cook a bit together before I add the ake. Just add in some black pepper. Now it's time to add the aki. A little more black pepper. And that's it. The ackee and saltfish is finished and it's ready to be eaten. Mmm. And you know what? It's good. Yeah, avocado. This is the best one I've tasted since the other one. I just have to buy it. Take them home and within two days they're going to buy it. And now I'm going in with a piece of the banana, green banana, and some of your delicious and hacky and salad. It does have some kick to it. Be careful how much pepper you put. Mmm, it's good.